in this lecture we will learn about lower bound on sorting algorithms which are comparison based so we will try to find the lower bound on the number of comparisons that is needed to sort an array of size n and this is quite important because it gives the lower bound that okay your sorting algorithm will at least take this amount of time so let's see we will take a very small example which will illustrate how to find the lower bound on number of comparisons if we have three numbers a1 a2 and a3 then if we have to find the sorted sequence by brute force so we will try out all the n permutations so if we have n numbers okay so if i want to sort the sequence by brute force so i will have all the list all the n factorial permutation of those numbers okay and then we will check for each one of them which is sorted okay so this one can be realized as a decision tree so we will take an example for three elements a1 a2 and a3 okay so now what happens so we will make some comparisons okay so these nodes represent comparison so a1 colon a2 means i am making comparison between a1 and a2 left branch says that a1 the first element is less than the second the other one says that the first element is greater than the second okay and we are assuming here that okay all the elements are distinct so now what happens if a1 is less than a2 so then what happens i will make comparison between a1 and a3 so what happens now if a either it can be a1 is less than a3 or a1 is greater than a3 so this way decision tree is going on so now let's see this part of the tree okay so a1 is less than a2 and so a1 is less than a2 and a1 is greater than a3 so this means a2 is the largest isn't it because a2 is greater than a1 and a1 is greater than a3 so it means a2 is greater than both a1 and a3 so a2 is the highest number then a1 comes in as a second largest and a3 because a1 is also greater than a3 so it comes is the smallest element so in two comparisons we could come up with this sequence if a1 is less than a2 and a1 is greater than a3 so a1 becomes the middle element a2 is the highest and a3 is the smallest element but what happens if a1 is less than a2 and a1 is less than a3 so this means what a1 is less than a2 and a3 but i don't know the relation between a2 and a3 so i have to decide again by comparing a2 and a3 but this was not the case in this part because a1 was less than a2 so i can put a1 here and a2 here and a1 is greater than a3 so a3 comes here so it was sorted in just two comparisons but here what happens now a1 is less than a2 and a1 is less than a3 so still we have to find the relation between a2 and a3 to find the sequence sorted sequence so a2 and a3 again we compare and if a2 is less than a3 so it becomes a1 then a2 and then a3 if a2 is greater than a3 it means a2 is the highest so a1 a3 a2 okay so this part of the tree is done so otherwise what happens if a1 is greater than a2 okay so a1 is greater than a2 i know so a2 comes here then what happens a2 is greater than a3 so a3 will come here on the number line so we could sort it using two comparisons but what happens if a1 
is greater than a2 and a2 is greater than a so a2 is less than a3 so i don't know now the relation between a1 and a3 so again i will compare and if a1 is less than a3 then it will be a2 a1 a3 like this and if a1 is greater than a3 then a2 a3 and a1 okay so this is the we make a decision tree which tells that okay these are the comparisons i will need to find the sorted sequence so now let's see how many leaf nodes are there so leaf node tells us that okay so the sequence is now sorted so we have one leaf two leaf three leaf four five and six okay so six leaves are there and because there are three elements so three factorial is equal to six so we see that the leaves are basically all the different permutations of these numbers okay so this means now and the worst the height of the tree is giving us the in worst case how many comparisons do we need okay so height of the tree so here one comparison two comparison one comparison here one comparison so two and then three so height of the tree gives us how many comparisons do we need okay in the worst case okay so we see that okay height is h of this tree and we have all the permutations as the leaf so there are n factorial such permutations so there will be n factorial leaves and we know that okay so in this tree all permutations are formed at the leaves of the tree as we saw and for n elements there are n factorial permutations and if the decision tree that we formed has height h so it means we need h comparisons in worst case and a tree with height h so from data structures class you should know that okay a tree with height h has at most 2 to the power of h leaves okay so this means what let l be the number of leaves in the tree so of course l will be less than equal to 2 to the power of h from this part and n factorial which is the number of leaves should be less than the total number of leaves in the tree so this way we see that okay so if we take the log on both sides so h is greater than equal to log n factorial so now it means what h is omega of n log n so if we expand this algorithm it will come like this so hence we see h where h is the number of comparisons so it is omega of n log n which means that any comparison based sorting will have running time of omega of n log of n okay so i hope you understand the lower bound on comparison based sorting which is omega of n log n and i hope you like this video so if you like this video please subscribe to my youtube channel thanks a lot